Okay. So we've created our player and our Space Invaders class. I think the next thing we need to do is to add our player class to our Space Invaders class. Let's see. We'll create an instance of player and we'll call him player. Um, so player player equals new player and let's check what were the parameters x, y, and max x so our x is going to be get width divided by 2 our height is going to be get height divided by 2 no not divided by 2 uh, get width divided by 2 is the middle x location and get height is the farthest down but I don't want the farthest down I want the farthest down minus player dot height divided by two mm -hmm. alright and what's the max x oh it just get width mm -hmm. we'll compile and yeah I did that right um, okay, so here we should paint our player onto the screen. We'll just say player dot draw onto G. Okay, so now to get him to move left and to move right when we press the left and right keys, I'll do private double no private boolean left and right so let's make a switch inside of our key press statement and key press method switch ke dot get key code and that just is an integer that represents the key that was pressed so, in the case of key event dot vk underscore left, we're going to say left equals true. And in the case of key event dot vk underscore right, we're going to say right equals false. And after each one of these cases, we need to do a break statement. So, break. Alright, and we're just going to copy this in the key released. So when the key, res when the key is released, uh, left is going to be false, and right is going to be false. Compile. No errors. Um, I'm not even going to be used key typed. Uh, in the update method, what we've got to change is if left uh, player dot move left, and if right player dot move right. That's nice. Okay. So it compiles. No, it doesn't compile. Oh, we need to say DT. And DT. Yep. Ah, perfect. We'll run it. Ah, there we go. Let's see if it worked. Oh, there we go. Yep. I can move left and I can move right. Let's see if I can go off the screen. No, I can't. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 
What should I do next? Hmm. How long has it been? Ah, oh, not quite. Okay, I can make this video a little bit longer. I'm gonna start working on the hmm, the bad guys, and I think I'll just import Java dot op dot star and public class bad guy. Remember when you're saving Java classes, it's case sensitive, so you're going to need to save it exactly as bad guy with the same capitalization. Save that. All right. Public status. No. Okay. First question you ask is, what information does bad guy need? I think he needs. And it was width and its height. Public static final in width equals. I'll make him only 25 pixels. And 25 pixels tall. Okay. Hmm. see what else do we need I think he should know his X and his Y priped double X Y nobody else needs to know that so it's private um, he also needs to know the direction he's going so private double Xer and wider. No. Delta X and Delta Y. Mm -hmm. And that will just be his X speed and his Y speed. And what else does he need? Hmm. I think that's it. That's probably it. Oh no, he needs to know his max x and his max y. Or well, his max x and his min x. I'm just going to save min x. So private min x. Max x. Yep. <laughs> Don't want to mess that up. Okay. So public bad guy. Let's do his constructor. And then I think we'll stop. Um. Double X, double Y, mm, and double max X. I think we'll start the uh, DX and DY. This dot X, no. X equals X underscore, Y equals Y underscore, max X equals max X underscore. Okay. And then DX ah, if math dot random less than point five. No. Initially, they should be going 40 pixels per second. So left is going to be initial speed, and else dx equals 
gonna make dy equals initial speed. Uh, let me make the y speed a little bit slower. I'm only gonna make it be going down at 20 pixels per second. Okay. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.